hello guys welcome back to another brand new lab that is implementing security in dataplex so first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now for this lab we have to sign in using username one so as you can see we have to create lake zone and assets so first of all open console incognito window now here we have to enter the username one so copy it carefully paste it and click on next now enter the password now here click on i understand so if you face error like this no need to worry just refresh the browser and follow the same step so let me show you how we will continue so just enter the username again basically this is a temporary glitch you may face sometime so that's why i haven't cut this part otherwise i would have cut it so now finally it will load and now will be in console click on i agree and then select agree and continue now we have to activate the cloud shell so for activating the cloud shell click on this button so this activates the cloud shell where we will be performing the task make sure to follow the video completely otherwise if you miss any step you won't get full score now click on continue and then you have to click on authorize and after that our cloud shell session will be live so first of all click on continue and then authorize so now in the description box of this video i have shared one github repo so you need to check it out so first of all as you can see the cloud shell session is live let me show you which github repo is present you have to select this and now enter on the cloud shell session so enter it now here it will fetch automatically and create asset zone and the lake so wait for it it will take 5 to 10 minutes after that we will move forward to the manual steps so that you don't face any issue and complete the lab with ease Finally task number 1 has been done, now you have to click on this link, here we will be adding some roles and permissions for the dataplex users. So first of all click on it, now let's see check, check my progress for task number 1. And as you can see we haven't got full score because lab takes time to update the score, so you need to click on task number 1 again. And we will hit check my progress from here, if you face such error you can check on the task and then hit check my progress. So as you can see we got full score without any issue and for task number 2 we have to do it manually so wait for the page to fully load finally the page is still loading now it has been loaded now click on it now select customer info lake and now here we have to grant access so here click on grant access and now copy the username carefully so here we have to add a permission of dataplex reader so as you can see here it's mentioned we have to add student 2 but here i am making one mistake can you find so let me tell you how you will get the error due to it so when you will paste it here you will get a error 
so when you select the role let me show you this error this happened because i have missed s in student i have missed s so i faced it if you copy carefully you will get the score without any issue so let's do individually because the lab is saying to do individually only so now copy the student to carefully i mean the username and then again click on grant access now enter the username here now for role click on dataplex and then again here it will be reader now click on save now wait for some time because lab takes time to update the score but you may get score instantly so wait for some time basically few seconds now again hit check my progress so finally we got the score now here we have to do some manual task so basically we have to update the another role so let me show you how you will do so basically here only we have to either modify the same role or you can create the another role so first of all co copy the username to and again click on grant access so just enter here and here we have to use dataplex writer because we will be uploading a file and checking the cloud storage so as you can see it will take some time so wait for it so after that we so as you can see we got the score now we have to sign in using username 2 and there we will upload an object in the bucket so first of all as you can see we have done this task and we have got 75 out of 100 for last task that is very easy so let's move ahead let's close this browser window click on leave now open again console incognito window and for username you have to use second username so just select from lab instruction next and then enter the password then click on next then basically you have to click on i understand and now wait for the console to fully load now wait for the page to fully load so now on the search box we have to open fuck it so first of all you need to click on agree and continue now you have to upload a file so for that you can download this file on your local system so just open it in new tab and download it to your local system as you can see it's been downloaded here so you have to upload it so let's move ahead to the step and from here type cloud buckets you can type cloud storage also or just buckets so wait for the page to fully load now here click on buckets so basically this video is step by step guide so that you don't face any issue and if you face you will be able to clear it yourself so now click on the bucket so basically in this bucket we have to upload the file So for that, you can do one thing, you can either just drag and drop the downloaded files, just click on Ctrl D and drag and drop here. So it will be uploaded automatically or you have another option like we do, you can click on upload, upload files and download any file as for this lab there is no restriction even if they update I will update you, there is no restriction you can upload any file and once it's uploaded you'll get score as you can see we got the score and we are done with the lab do check the playlist for remaining labs and games and if you are new to this channel subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day